Hello gems, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. My name is G and if you haven't yet subscribed, then please make sure you do if you'd like to see more of me and please make sure to leave this video a big like at the end or at any point throughout the video if you do enjoy it. Today I'm going to be kind of reviewing and doing a tutorial of the Lullabals hair pieces. So the one that I've got is this one. This is the box that it comes in. It's the Lullabals Curly Glam Hair Piece of 22 inches. And the colour that I've got is plum. It tells you at the bottom there. And when you receive it as well, it comes with like a hygiene seal. So one thing I will say is you need to be sure that you're ordering your right colour because this circular bit here that's all you get to see your colour through and once you open it you can't set it back so I'd say just make sure that you're getting the right colour and make sure you really test it here with this one, this the one that I've got is the closest match that I could find and it doesn't like my hair is a bit darker than this one when I dyed it originally until it fades but with it being a hair piece you're pretty alright so you can get away with it a bit but obviously try and get the closest one that you can get so when you get it, it comes like this when you open it up, of course, you do have your hair piece inside of there and it also comes in the net, so it'll come in one of these, one of them, okay, and it, obviously it'll be all scrunched up and everything, so the first thing you want to do is obviously get it out, and this is the style of it, so it's 22 inches long, and it's gorgeous, it's extra, it's bougie, it's amazing for one of those, for like a night out if you want to have a more voluminous ponytail, because of course, if I put mine up, my hair is very short, so it doesn't give that much of an effect. But with this in, it's just amazing. And with my job, I work as an entertainer. I'm a dancer. So these are amazing on stage. So anything like that, definitely get your hands on one of these. And again, this is the Curly Glam Ponytail, 22 inches. So when you get it out of the box, obviously you want to brush it. So give it a nice brush. It, well, it is synthetic hair, so it does go like a bit frizzy, but just like after a couple of moments, it does like die down, so it's not a massive deal, and they're amazing to brush. Okay, so once you've done that, if you want to turn it around, this is the part that goes around your bun, and at the top, it's got a little slider, so one of those, if you can see that. That's a slider, that is the top of your hair piece. And then around the side and the bottom, it's got these clips. If I can get it out without it being tangled, that'd be nice. Okay, so these clips, if you can see that, it's a bit hard to show. And they just clip on like that, so open and close. So you've got one, two, three of them, two on the sides and one on the bottom. And then you do have the tightening bit. So it's this little strap. And what you do, you just press it, pull it down when you've got it exactly where you want it. So they're really easy, absolutely amazing for when you're on the go. You can take them out, put them in, easy as pie. It's amazing and just really convenient. So that's the top of it and that is what it looks like. And if you can see, like, obviously my lighting isn't amazing in this room, but really, really good match. So that is plum and my hair is it's purpley and I dye it with Mystic Violet. So, we're going to get on and we're going to show you how to put it in. So, if you are interested, then make sure you continue watching. Okay, and so first things first, what you're going to need, you're going to need a brush and just a standard hair bowl, hair tie, whatever you want to call it. I have got a mirror here, so if I'm looking over there, that's what it is. Okay, so you want to, of course, you want to scrape your hair back. With my ponytails, I like my hair to be pushed back so it's like straight to my hair, um, and then the ponytail up high. And then the higher that you have your bun, the more of the hair piece you're going to see so that you don't look bald as such. So that's the first thing you want to do. So I'll quickly do that now. And of course, however you want to have it is fine really. So you can either do like a slacker one. So like you don't have to have your hair necessarily all pushed back if you don't want to. You can have your bun however you want to. But like I say, my preference is to have my hair fully scraped back so that you get that sleek, high pony. And just looks really flawless that way, I think. So, getting all this back. So, of course, decide how high up you want your bun. I want mine about there, I'd say. So, brush it back. Of course, yeah, I'm doing this quick. Usually I'd spend a bit more time on it just to make sure it is extra flawless. Okay, so when I've got it here, I twirl it around, so wrap it around, 
right to the end. And then I literally just twist that above my head. Check if that's where you want it, and I think that's about right for me. I have got a bit sticking up then, so usually I'd probably take it out and redo it, but just for this video so that I can get it over and done with without you having to watch me redo a bun over and over. I am just gonna keep it the way it is. So, nice tight bun. You wanna have a secure base so that your, um, your hair piece has got something to cling on to properly. But your bun doesn't need to be neat or anything because of course it's gonna get tied up. It covered up, sorry. Okay, so that's the bun. And then you wanna get your hair piece. So I've got mine here. The first thing I do is take it on to the bun and then I clip, not clip, sorry, I push that right down. So the slider at the top, push it down. So it's literally, it's in there now. So you wanna position it, make sure your bun's in the right place. And it's probably best to like push it in and then just check it before you do the rest. So check if that's how you want it. And I think that's pretty good for me. That's how I like it. So it makes that sure that's secure. And then of course, then you wanna get the nesting bit that was that's the base of the hair piece. Get that securely around your bun and then you wanna find your clips. So like I said, it's got a, two clips, sorry, three clips, one either side and one at the bottom. So you wanna find them and then push that in nice and tight. You do sometimes have to put like a bit of pressure on just to get it in the right place. Pulling the most gorgeous faces here. Subscribe. <laughs> okay, and then the same the other side. Find that clip, put it around your bum, make sure it's in the place that you want it to be. And then clip it in. And you do hear like the click of the click of the clip. So you know that it's in the right place. You know that it's all fastened in. And then your bottom one. So what I usually do, push it down and then, sorry, so as I was saying, what I do, I get in and flip it. And then you can easily then get that other clip there. Make sure it's still in place. And then I flip my hair back over again and then get the tie. So once you've got this, you wanna literally push it down, make sure it's tight as you wanna be. And then flip it back over. And of course you can decide how tight or how slack you want it to be. I have mine very tight because I do dancing in mine and I'm in, I have mine on for hours. So the tighter it is for me, the better. Okay, so that's how it looks. And then of course you will have the this bit hanging down there. So literally all you wanna do is wrap that around and you can either tuck it into your bubble, tuck it into the hair piece or use a hair slide to secure it in place. So once you've got it in, you can then brush it over if you wanna. Make sure it's styled how you want it to be. And that is the finished look. So if I turn around, you can see how long it is. And that's how it looks. So guys, there you go, there you have it. That is the finished style. Hair pieces all in, 22 inch, curly glam ponytail from Lullabells. And that's it, easy as that. So once again, if you did like what you see here, then please subscribe to my channel and maybe give it a like if you could, just at the bottom below the video. Thank you very much for watching me, Gems, and hopefully I'll see you again very, very soon in my next video. Bye-bye.